gift. Just like this. I love hard, but I hate harder. I love hard, but I hate harder. I can give peace, but I can bring the slaughter. Better come correct, don't get out of order. I love hard, but I hate harder. I love hard, but I hate harder. I can give peace, but I can bring the slaughter. I'm sipping in the corner of Baba. Yeah. Balance both energies and embrace both. Light and dark side, the reality they both thrive. Challenge to all the supposed successes. I regress into the lessons. Lyrical aggressor. I waste a precious time trying to connect the dots. Neglecting my own equation, perfecting the plot. I set fire to your brain and shed light on your disdain. Bitches step to me, but they don't swing. Gave you at the opportunity, and look what bitches do to me. That's why I'm a savage, causing damage. This shit ain't new to me. Invested energy in vain. Till it consume me You act like you was real as you come That shit blew me Comparing yourself to me So convert me Hope it's really worth it be Really worth it be Never had static with the fellas And it's crazy Sister solidarity mm, I don't really see it baby Uh Yeah Uh Yo I keep telling y'all Uh I love hard But I hate harder I love hard, but I hate harder. I can give peace, but I can bring the slaughter. Better come correct, don't get out of order. I love hard, but I hate harder. I love hard, but I hate harder. I can give peace, but I can bring the slaughter. I'm sipping in the corner, uh, bother. Welcome to another episode of Reality Check Cashing Tarot. I'm your host, Sankofa Ashe. And um, welcome, welcome, welcome to um, my podcast. Today is Saturn Day, okay? A day of banishing, a day of removing, okay? This is the day of Kalima, of Oya, uh, Baron Samdi, etc., 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 okay? huge Saturn energy, so yes, uh, I love Saturdays, so listen, I, I just wanted to address something, right, um, that I'm witnessing, okay, we all know what's happening, you know why I'm here, okay, and I'm just like, for those who see my community post, I'm just sitting back and observing some shit on social media, and I'm not even fucking surprised, okay, I want black women to really peep game and watch who the fuck they support, because these niggas, uh, they having fucking, they crying, having tantrums up and down the timeline, still um, choosing to die on a hill, I would say, you know, creating memes and still, and then trying to single shame women and things like that. Um, and these are niggas that are philanders, niggas that are date rapists, uh, uh, niggas that are involved in human fucking trafficking. Uh, let's see, niggas who are, who are, who are woman beaters, uh, pedophiles, narcissists, psychopaths, uh, whole tips, all that, all that shit. Okay. You starting to see them all, they didn't really show their ass right now. Right. So I just want black women, the smart ones. Cause you know. Some of y'all bitches, y'all like abuse, and you guys are also agent smiths to the shit, too. You guys are their accomplice. That's the reason why they're able to thrive, because of y'all motherfuckers. I, I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking to the smart fucking black women, especially in the fucking spiritual community. I'm even seeing these so-called spiritual niggas, and a lot of them have female supporters. This is a favorite word, too. Female. As soon as a motherfucker say female, you already know what the fuck they're talking about. They got female supporters, right? And I know it's the difference between female and woman, but it's in the context in which they choose to use it that raises my motherfucking eyebrow. I'm just saying, right? Why would 
if a man is a black woman in a spiritual community, bitch, why the fuck should I support you if you low key don't like me? If you low key a red pillar, just fucking say that. If you are a part of the black uh, Nakersphere, Manosphere, whatever, and you hate black and you hate black women, bitch, just say that. Okay, just fucking say that. But see, they don't want to lose y'all as followers and this, that, and third. But you don't need, listen, be honest. You still gonna have dumbass bitches that's gonna still follow your stupid ass anyway. You might as well be his. I'm just saying, be discerning, right? Just be discerning and just peep game, okay? Like I said in the title, curb your motherfucking empathy. Stop being empathetic towards motherfuckers that don't give a fuck about you. Don't give a fuck about your children. Don't give a fuck about your daughters, okay? They don't give a fuck about y'all. Now, this is about the whole uh, KS situation, right? Okay? I notice a lot of a lot of niggas, even niggas that have a lot of um, of, of feminine uh, feminine women, uh, uh, they have a lot of women supporters, okay? You're starting to see they kind of showing their fangs a little bit. You're starting to see the mask slip. Now, some of them, their mask been cracking for a long, long, long time. But you're starting to see them, the ones that been <coughs> making money off the backs of support. Okay, two things are for certain, right? You can make money off of... And, uh, I'm sorry, I had to load that down. Okay, so, listen. So, you can make money off of black women so easily. All you have to do is pander to them, talk shit to them, drag them, right? That's all you have to do. Black women are their biggest fucking supporters. So, to me, if I was, it would behoove you. If I was y'all... I wouldn't move. The, I wouldn't even speak on certain things. I wouldn't move on certain things. I wouldn't even talk about certain people, such as the KS guy, if you really want to keep your money. But a lot of them have already showed their ass already. Okay, and like I said, if a motherfucker say female and shit like that, and then they're actually kind of like being um, intellectually dishonest or or they're showing some type of uh, or being intellectually ambiguous I noticed that too with some of these so called spiritualists they, they're, they, um, they're playing coy even some of the female ones they're playing coy and acting real stupid because they're so fucking scared of getting dragged it's like they can't even fucking be honest even in their own spiritual community ain't we supposed to be enlightened the fuck out of here the fuck out of here with that bullshit Motherfuckers uh, showing their ass on motherfucking Instagram. So I'm on Instagram, right? And I'm seeing some people that I was actually like some spiritual people that that uh, that I was following, and they getting upset because I guess the general consensus is right. A lot of the women spiritualists opened up and you know probably made a few comments. Like one girl on on uh, Facebook, what's her name? Deandra. I like her. I like her uh, uh, content. Uh, I think her name is Deandra something Rose or something like that. She was like, is it voodoo? And then they had a whole little discussion at the bottom and shit like that, right? And um, they had a whole fucking discussion at the bottom of her thing, her whatever, okay? And... In half a mile, take exit 42B for Inglewood Avenue. All right, cool. You know, the Inglewood Avenue. So, uh... <clears throat> people, they have male supporters, right? They have uh, red pillars... A lot of these female spirits, they have red pillars supporting them, right? So it's like they got to, like, dance on a very fine line. And they and even though they can't say what they really want to fucking say because they fucking scared of them too, right? They scared of them too. These niggas following you, you a female spiritualist, right? And these niggas following you, they don't even fucking like you. They don't even like you, okay? They don't fucking like you. They listening to niggas that devalue you that uh, fucking denigrate you and disparage the, the black uh, women di- uh, demographic, right? But they sitting here listening to you, sitting at your feet, getting knowledge from you and giving you fake fucking love. I'm trying to tell you niggas is real fucking fake. Niggas is fake as fuck, right? Now, <clears throat> there was one guy, uh, what was his name? I guess, okay, like I said, I guess over on the internet, people were saying, you know, everybody was coming up 
all the black women online, not all of them, but most of the black women online or whatever was coming up with pretty much the same consensus that, you know, um, the Pluto retrograde, I was mentioning that too, the Pluto retrograde, uh, ain't playing with nobody, divine feminine, like the, the general consensus Beach, was, turn right onto Manhattan Beach Boulevard. the general consensus was, um, you know, the general consensus was pr- pretty much, okay, you know, he, he got taken out by the divine feminine the world. It seemed like Beach that Boulevard. is like a trigger word. And it's like, it's interesting because uh, a lot of these niggas like to live vicariously through these red pillars and things like that. And when they see their idols getting karmic retribution, it makes them feel some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? It makes them feel some kind of way because they know that their time is coming too. Okay. The people that they idolize, the people that they worship and live vicariously through their, through their toxicity. When that person faces their their um, spiritual ramifications and karmic retribution for what they've done, notice they automatically go into protector mode. And they get nervous because they know that it's only a matter of time before they, they know that they've been guilty of transgressions against women they got themselves. Okay? Even though they make the most money out of women and they sit here being phony online, oh, queen and goddess and ooh, like, nigga, shut the fuck up. Okay? If you don't, if, if you a red pillar and, and you try to sit here and try to, and you want me to buy your fucking class, you want me to join your fucking community, you want me to buy your books, bitch, fuck you. Okay. Now I'll get the information that I need to fucking get so I can get where I need to be. I don't have to like you to get information from you, but I'm not going to be uh, monetized. I'm not going to be, you ain't going to be making no motherfucking money off of me like that, like that. You're not going to make them that much money off of me. I'm going to get whatever information. And, and sometimes I've, and, and a lot of us black women in the spiritual community, we done followed this, some of these people for years. So we already on our own path. We already know where to go. So we're not new in this shit. We already know where to go. We already know what books to get. We already know who to follow. We can just stick with who we going to stick with. But I'm just saying, be careful who the fuck y'all be following. Y'all following niggas that don't give a fuck about y'all. They agree with predators. They agree, agree with narcissists, psychopaths, and all that bullshit, right? Let that be a woman. Let that be a female version of KS. Let let, let that be a female version of KS. You think they're going to say the same thing? You think they're going to make excuses for it? Nah, they're not going to. They're not going to. Notice that they sandwich their personal opinions and their personal gender bias. Notice they sandwich that carefully and strategically in between their lectures. Just, 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 I'm just saying. Notice they do that shit, right? So all I'm saying, look, okay, just be mindful. Curb your empathy. Stop trying to show that you have empathy because they don't give a fuck because either fucking way... They don't have no empathy either fucking way. They still don't like your ass. It don't matter. They don't value your life. Okay. They follow people. They, this is just like, it's so kind of fake to me, right? It's very fake to me because I've been seeing for some of these guys that I have observed on Instagram today that I was following, cause I barely be on my timeline. So I mostly post, but I'm going to just like, I'm going to stay off the TL for the, probably the next few next few uh weeks or months or whatever so this shit die down but i just want you guys to pay attention pay attention to their fucking choice of words okay um the reason why i'm tripping is because the reason why i'm tripping is because this right like this nigga is a fucking predator and the black community love to support fucking predators as long as you got a fucking dick you could, you good. You could be the most evilest, dangerous, predatory, demonic ass fucking negrum. But when you die, you made out to be a fucking martyr. But when black women die, bitch, you got to be fucking perfect. You better not have not one strand of hair out of place. And even then, they still don't give a fuck about your life. What more proof do y'all bitches need? What more proof? Right? Look, I go up on Instagram, right? So there's this one nigga. I'm, I'm, I already uh, said what I said on my community post. All right? This nigga here. So I, I already knew this nigga was a, a red you pillar. I already knew this nigga don't like black women. Like, I've been new this shit, right? Because years ago, and I made a video about it years ago. Show did. 
years ago, I, I, I fell for the bullshit, right? And I took one of his classes. It was him and a female uh, YouTuber, um, a spiritualist lady, okay? I met her in person a few times. She, I, I guess, she cool, whatever. You know, I had no major problem with her, but I definitely had a problem that fucking day. I did, you know. Um, I joined one of their fucking little master classes, okay? And it was a class about uh, love and, you know, magic, boo, 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 boo. Now, I hate it anytime she collaborated with this guy because he always get on my fucking nerves. This nigga had outdated fucking dating advice that it would, the stuff that he was telling women in the video was so fucking stupid. If I could find the email, I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show you guys. If I could find the email, I'm going to show you. This, <laughs> this motherfucker, right? This nigga, he go, uh, the way, okay, he has outdated dating advice. Okay, it, it, the, most of his advice was very patriarchal. Oh, you got to go with whatever he's saying. You got to go with whatever she, he's doing. And uh, this is that you can't you can't question him. And you got to do this and this. And there were women that were falling for it in the fucking comment section, the chat room or whatever. They falling for it. Yeah, I guess I should probably do this. And I, I guess I should probably do that. So I commented. I was like, no, he's already showing that he's disinterested in you. Like, why would you why would you even bother? And he, And then... He gets mad and then wants to throw the single car. Cause a lot of niggas like doing that. Because they're like, oh, if you don't want to put up with my abusive ways, you're going to be single. Turn Bitch, that sound head. good to me. The fuck you mean, my nigga? That sound good to me. Bitch, single women are happier, healthier, and they live longer. The fuck is you and talking about? Dumb dumb. And ain't you speak. fucking single too? You ain't got nobody either, bitch. So what are you talking about? Not everybody want to be wrapped up with your ashy ass. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. That's why you're single now. Good, bitch. More bitches will be single. We don't fucking give a fuck, nigga. That's all you can do is is, is throw somebody's relationship status in their face. Shit, I, most people that are that are married are fucking Take miserable. Right onto 17th Street, then turn right. But they trying to keep so up. But they trying to keep up uh, with with fucking. Uh, they trying to keep up an image that don't fucking exist. Trying to stunt on somebody and they not even fucking happy. Get the fuck out of here, man. So he get mad because you know I'm a smart bitch. I'm not a dumb right. bitch. You know. I'm a smart bitch. I'm not a dumbass bitch. Uh, you know, I'm not a needy ass bitch that, oh, I'm going to put up with some bullshit so I can say I got a mind. Man, get the fuck out of here. So I was trying to tell her because I was seeing what she was, um, what she was saying. And it was like she was rescinding on, uh, like, oh, I guess I need to try harder for his attention. And this is that. Like, the, the advice that he was giving was very fucking toxic. And then I also noticed that on his, on his, on his, on his, uh, Facebook, because I was following, uh, both of them, right? And they were always doing these collaborations and shit. So I was following both of them or whatever. And, uh, hold on. Let me, un- um, put that I'm here. Let's see. <sighs> Uh, my goodness. Okay, I'm already here. Okay. So anyway, nigga. So I okay. So I was like, you know what? I'm not liking this dude. I peeped his energy from years ago. I said this nigga don't like black women at all. But at the same time, most of his fucking supporters are black women. And it's black women that enjoy the verbal BDSM shit. They enjoy being uh, trash. They ha- they're they so fucking downtrodden and self-fucking defeatist that they actually support niggas that don't fucking like them. Right? So when he say whatever he said to me, he's like, oh, some, some, see, that's your problem right now or some shit like that. And I'm like, nigga, I, I thought I said, you know what? I immediately wasted my fucking $25 for that fucking bullshit ass master classes. That shit was fucking loner ass. It was all bullshit. Patriarchal, narcissistic, outdated bullshit. Bitch, we're not in the 1950s anymore. And you you still single. And the person you was doing the video with was, was still single anyway. At the time, they had a nigga, I guess. But even they said when I watched one of their recent videos, even they said they not they they don't have nobody. So what what's up? They followed everything that you do. They was agreeing with everything that you was fucking saying. I was a little disappointed, but I wasn't surprised. I'm not surprised. You know what I'm saying? They make so much money together off of these dumbass people. Get that was the last time I ever put money into other people. The last time. 
I wasted twenty five motherfucking dollars, twenty five dollars. And um, if I find the email, if I find the fucking email with the video, watch. It was some fucking bullshit, right? Anyway, so I already knew what type of shit this nigga was fucking on, okay? All right? So I was just like, okay, whenever it came to, like, certain social events that had to do, you could tell he had a black gender bias. And I noticed a lot of them have a black gender bias, okay? But at the same time, they need our dollars. They need our support. They need our viewership, okay? you got Y'all need to understand the power that we fucking have, okay? Understand the power that we have. Okay, if you want to get the information, you know what I'm saying? You want to be an info digger, gold digger, G-O-L, and you want to get your information from them and be out? Cool, that's what I'm doing too. But I'm just telling you, at the same time, at the same motherfucking time, peep motherfucking game. That's all I'm saying. So this nigga, right? This nigga posting mad shit about KS, okay? I, I don't even know. I I, been, I forgot that, I, that this nigga's even on my fucking Instagram. It's one of my first Instagram pages. So I had followed so many people, so I need to delete so many people, but you know, the oldest Instagram page gonna have everybody on there, you know what I'm saying, so he was on there, this nigga bussy popping, moist as fuck, bussy popping on the handstand for KS on his shit, right, and he was like, yeah, and his cash, he was like, yeah, wait, hold on, let me read it, hold on, let me read this bitch ass nigga shit, all your support, I wonder how his female supporters really think watching this shit, right, I already blocked his ass. Never mind. Let me see. I already blocked his ass, but he was like, yeah, he put up a meme of uh, a chaos. There's a meme going around and it showed chaos walking into the gates of heaven, which we know that's not true. But, you know, he walked into the gates of heaven saying, yeah, y'all still bald headed, ugly black bitches. Boo, 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 boo. And this is their way because, you know, niggas was crying all over the fucking net. You know, niggas was real moist yesterday, crying all over the fucking net and shit like that. Now they know how black women feel when they when they celebrate black women's death, when they make jokes about black women's death, right? Now they found their emotions. Now here comes this, uh, what I've been saying before everybody else, selective morality, okay? Here comes this selective morality. So now they want to shame women like, hey, you guys are supposed to be the empathetic ones. I know we don't give a fuck about y'all bitches and your life, but you're supposed to be in mourning right along with us. You're evil. You're bad. You're mean, black women. You're so fucking mean, Bitch, shut up. That's what I told black women. Curb your empathy. Don't even fucking have any type of emotional consideration. Because when you're dead, they don't give a fuck about you, nigga. They don't give a fuck about you. Do you remember Lauren Smith? You remember all the all the nasty jokes they said just because she was with a white man? Or something like that. She's meet up with a white dude or something like that. And they said she died of an overdose or whatever. You didn't see black men uh, uh, saying anything nice about her. Did you? Because I didn't. I didn't see that. I saw, oh, she got zerdered. Oh, that bitch leveled up all the way to heaven. All this stuff. And on top of that, she was a dark-skinned woman. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. She was a dark-skinned woman. So you already know they asses went in. Okay. They were so they were so mad. That's what I'm saying. When a black woman got, dies and gets killed, especially by them, you got to be a black woman. Got to be absolutely perfect, absolutely perfect. And even if they're absolutely perfect, even if they are whole tipped up, up and down, you know what I'm saying? They could be the biggest mammies, the biggest pick me in the world, 100 percent, ten toes down, uh, you know, a ten ten fingers down for for niggas. They still don't give a fuck about your life. You do know that, right, bitch? You you do know that. The same black woman that was like, oh, I'm not going to wish death on nobody. And nobody wished death. It already fucking happened. Oh, I'm not going to celebrate anybody. Blah, 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 blah. But, you know, blah, 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 blah. you know, I'm not going to speak ill to the dead. Okay, cool. Then shut the fuck up then. Shut up. Because I don't recall you bitches saying that when Lauren Smith passed away and all these other black women that passed away. You guys just run along with the bullshit, too. I didn't see you guys having that kind of contextualization and compassion for her. So what, what the fuck is you saying? Girl, just shut the fuck up. It's not going to make them like you any better. It's not going to make them value your life any better. You sound dumb. All right? Anyways, so then the nigga, okay, uh, this coach nigga, right? So this nigga bussy popping on, on Instagram. Oh, yeah, that's why y'all still single in this caption. That's why y'all still single. Who cares? Like, why are we still single shaming in 2022? Nigga, do you see what happens to black women every 5.5 hours? 
by their intimate partners. Shit, being single is is survival, nigga. That's preservation. Let, you know what I'm saying? Like they get killed by their romantic partners, intimate partners for every 5.5 hours. Black women, right? It was every six hours. Now it's every 5.5 hours. Shit, it might even be lower just because niggas is losing they fucking marbles. Peep game. Strap the fuck up. Stay spiritually strapped, physically strapped. Don't be, listen, because niggas going to be looking to try to take it out on black women. Y'all need to be fucking ready. Okay? Anyway. I ain't worried about it at all because I, I keep myself spiritually strapped all motherfucking day. I carry my weapons with me all day and I don't hesitate. I don't give a fuck. I don't hesitate with nobody. You feel me? Anyway. So then I was like, I'm looking at his stuff and I'm like, you know what, nigga? You always been fucking fraudulent. You always been a, a um, misogynistic and you make money off of so much women and you don't even fucking like bitches. You don't even like bitches, but you making money off of them. You feel me? So I put down, I'm not surprised. And then I block see I block him. Then fucking T.I. Nigga, T.I. posted some shit. Yeah, rest in peace, God. And do 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 Bitch, shut the fuck up. Ain't you fucking date raping bitches, drugging bitches, and raping bitches along with your pick me ass fucking wife? Bitch, shut the fuck up. Shut up. I like how all of y'all... I even made a post, right? I made a post on Instagram because I'm tired of the fucking bullshit. I, anything that I saw, anytime I saw this nigga ashy face, anytime I see kitten ashy face put my fucking timeline, I fucking delete and block and hide and I block your motherfucking ass. Okay, because I don't want to see, I'm tired of seeing this ashy face up and down my motherfucking um, uh, timeline, okay? I'm tired of, I don't even want to look at it and I barely be looking at my timeline And, you know, now I'm not going to be looking at my time. I'm going to post, but I'm not going to be looking at nobody's time. I know more Um, after I finish cleanse, you know, cleanse my timeline and just get rid of all that stuff. Because I don't want, you know, on social media, it's my world. It's your world. You have the right to follow, unfollow and keep whoever that you want to keep in it. And it's your own world, right? And you decide who gets to be in it, right? So that's what I'm doing. I'm exercising my right, my sovereign right on social media. I don't have to look at that bullshit. I already, I've been, for a lot of y'all, I've been new. This nigga changed his name from Coast to Oye or whatever the fuck. I still get his fucking marketing emails. I'm finna unsubscribe from that shit too. Or maybe answer it back. Like, stop emailing me, bitch. Okay. Your ass is still fucking single, too. You ain't got nobody. I don't even think you like women, to be honest. Okay? But anyway, I wasn't surprised when he was bussy popping. I'm not surprised at how moist he was. It was. You know, it is what it is. A lot of niggas was moist. Okay? These are the same niggas that dragged uh, de- uh, dead black women just because they were dating outside their race or just simply because they were black and they were women. If you're black and you got a pussy and you die, they don't give a fuck about your ass. So I don't know why you bitches up here talking about, oh, I'm not going to win here on that. Okay, fine. I'm not going to celebrate, but I'm like, okay, cool. If you're indifferent, you're not going to celebrate. Okay, then shut the fuck up about it. Should we just shut up about it. Why are you trying to make yourself into some kind of moral snowflake because you think that they're going to view you better? What the fuck are you really scared? You that, you that fucking scared. If anything, bitch, they scared of you. Then another guy on Instagram, uh, Energy Alchemy or whatever, it seemed like he was so bothered by women saying the divine feminine came for him and blah, 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 blah. Everybody's everybody's getting mad. Everybody's getting, I think people, I think niggas is getting low-key scared because they secretly hate black women and they have, and they want to, they got to prove their allegiance. You know, they got to stick to the code. Okay. They got to stick to the code. They want to prove their allegiance. And uh, and at the same time, they may have uh, agreed with or done transgressions against women and children and who, who knows, or agreed, uh, agreed to it. Right. And now that they see that somebody they looked up to has died or, or they have, um, you know, faced some kind of downfall in their life, it makes them feel nervous. They tend to internalize it and they associate that person with themselves. Like, damn, if they met their demise, I might meet mine. And they're getting, they're getting irritated and annoyed and very intimidated when women are saying, when you disrespect the divine feminine, this is what you get. A lot of spiritualists were saying that, not a lot, but, um, a few of them priests, I said, Ra, man, I was watching ISIS wisdom. I was watching a few other women that was getting the same messages about 
disrespecting the divine feminine and blah, 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 or whatever, you know, what, what would happen? What are the ramifications for that? Okay. Of course, with Pluto and retrograde and Pluto returning, a lot of people that have done things, unsavory things towards uh, women and disrespecting women and this patriarchy system, whatever, they're starting to pay for it. They are panicking. Okay. They're panicking right now. So anyway, I posted a, um, a, a post on my personal Instagram uh, page and let's see. I, I put down here because I'm noticing, okay, like I said, T.I. said something, a couple other people said something. I made sure I deleted them, unfollowed them, blocked them, and hide their posts. I'm not even surprised because all of them, they all think the same. They all support this guy. And the thing that's really trippy is that this guy just showed y'all three weeks ago that he's a fucking predator. If you guys watch Permission to Exist, PTE, shout out to her. I absolutely adore her. Go on her channel. Three weeks ago, she made a video and it says how narc predators groom their parents. It's on my community post. How narc predators groom single parents, single mothers or whatever. This nigga came up with a fucking scenario. And you could tell that this happened in his real life and he was trying to um, relive or re. I, I, I guess he was trying to rehash a past situation uh, with his, with his ex-wife through this single mother that he was interviewing. Okay. Do you know this nigga came up with a scenario that you shouldn't come up with? Okay. A scenario that gets you decked right in your shit. Okay. He gaslights the ma- the single mom, right? And he says, well, what if your daughter First of all, as soon as you say your daughter, I would have clicked the X on my screen. Like, this interview is over. We're not talking about my motherfucking daughter, bitch. Like, we're not even fucking doing that. But, you know, whatever, right? So, he talks about, he was he was telling to her, basically, okay, he was telling, he was she was giving her background or whatever, whatever. And he was like, well, what if, you know, 10, you know, wait, first he, okay, first he said, how are children? He said, you got a child? He's like, yeah, I got a child. I got a daughter. Whoa, whoa. She like, he like, well, how can that child be an asset to the man? First of all, asset is a very, very bad choice of words to use. My child ain't going to be no fucking asset. You will be an asset to us. Our, my child ain't going to be no fucking asset to you. I know you want to see my child's ass. That's what he said, asset. Why are you worried about what the child could do for you? Like, that's disgusting. Do you see how, do you know where I'm going with this? But you'll have to watch her PTE's video. She, she um, explained it really, really good about the fact that he was saying that. Like, what, what was the reasoning behind him saying that? How the child could be an asset to me. My kid is my motherfucking kid. The fuck you mean? Right? Then he says, well, what if 10 years later, what if 10 years later, um, you know, your daughter come to you and say that I touch, I mean, he said, touch. That was his first scenario, but he cleaned it up. He said, what if your old daughter 10 years later, your daughter's five, six, whatever. Okay. Well, what if 10 years later, you know, your daughter say that I touch, I mean, I mean, I, I caught her coming out the shower. So you must've been touching bitches, touching little girls and catching them come out the shower. Cause why the fuck would you come up with a scenario like that? Where, where do you get that from? Obviously he got away with it or he must've did something like that in his past. Cause I don't understand what kind of man will come up with that scenario. Any nigga that come up with a scenario like that, a hypothetical situation, should get stomped the fuck out. What if she catch me? What if she? Uh, what if she tells you that? I, um, that uh, when she was coming out the shower, I was looking at her, and then the girl, the single mom, was like, "Well, you know, the relationship would have to be over. I got to protect my child." He immediately started to. Uh, he immediately started to. Um, get threatened by that oh so you don't like men oh you don't like men oh well you know they my kids though and like he's like trying to make it into a i'm telling you he was rehashing a past situation through this interview through this lady he was looking at this lady as if it was his ex or something like that you know oh well you know i'm married shit and they're my kids why can't you just tell that daughter that's your daddy you know why you got to believe the daughter and uh you know what i'm saying why you got to believe the daughter see that's why kids is a liability that's why we don't want to date y'all with kids you know what i'm saying so basically you won't let me fuck your kids you won't let me touch your fucking kids that's why you single bitch because you won't let me butt fuck your kids we got it we get it kevin thank you thank you you want to butt fuck people's daughters you want to touch their daughters and uh you know 
because the mom won't let you. That's why you single, bitch. I'll take single, bitch. I will take it. So the girl, I could tell that the lady, she was grimacing. She was so fucking like perplexed at what he was saying. Like, and you could tell from her face that she been through that probably with her daughter's father or some past relationship, but you could tell she'd been through that because she's a single mom with a female child and the way how she was saying it, cause she'd been in that fucking situation. And here you are re-traumatizing her all over again, all over again. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna get up off of this, man. Anyway, um, this is my, this is why the reason why I told that story is because you got all these motherfucking niggas and you got bitches too. I need y'all to watch that fucking video before you open up your big fucking mouth. This nigga literally groomed this single mother on camera for everybody to see literally groomed and came up with a pedophile ass scenario, a pedo friendly pedo peddling ass hypothetical situation of what his true desires was, what his true goals were. Now listen to that interview and then make the connection as to why black girls get molested. 60% of them get molested before they turn 18. You know why? Because of niggas like that. He used marriage. He used um, the fact, oh, they my kids. You can't take my kids away from me just because I did this and that. Oh, did it? See, that's why kids are a liability. He want to be able to openly abuse your child. You got niggas out there that want to openly abuse your child. And because you won't let them, bitch, that's why you single. Yeah, that's why you ain't never going to get a man and this, this and that. Okay, cool. That sounds real good to me. Like, the fuck? Do you understand the mind game that's being played to, played on y'all? Do y'all understand that? And you got niggas up here supporting that. Pay attention to who the fuck y'all be following. They supported fucking predators. Niggas that don't give a fuck about... I bet you the same niggas that be following it, following this nigga, that followed this nigga, I bet you they wouldn't have their daughters around them. But you know, most niggas don't give a fuck about their daughters anyway. But I mean, if they do give a, give, a, give a fuck or give a damn at least, I bet you they wouldn't have their fucking daughters around them. Eh? Eh? Or maybe they would. Who knows? I don't know. Fuck it. Right? They know what type of mob. I'm, I'm just saying, watch the video. It's, it's so fucking crazy how this guy literally showed that he was a fucking pedophile. He literally showed that he was a predatory ass nigga online for everybody to see. And then when they got back to the woman that did the fucking interview, she said she did go through that. So you be traumatized her, gaslit her. Disgusting, man. So anyway, that's the reason why I'm kind of like kind of tripping a little bit because it's like, did you not see the video? I'm going to just assume that a lot of people didn't see that video or I'm going to just also assume that maybe they didn't. They don't give a fuck because they never did. That's why 60 percent of black girls and women were molested and sexually assaulted before they turned eight uh, before they turned 18. It makes so much sense now because of niggas like that. Now. I'm going to get up off this, uh, this, uh, video and, um, I'll be right back. Uh, I want to read before I leave. I want to read like my, um, thank you calling me. I want to read, uh, one of my posts that I made on my personal page after I had deleted and moved some people out my timeline. I put down this <clears throat> and then I'll read the caption. So I put down this, uh, I said, I like how all the misogynists, pedophiles, psychopaths, narcissists, woman beaters, pill pushers, date rapists, philanders, ex-convicts, hoteps all came together to celebrate the life of their zaddy. Even the fake spiritual niggas showing their ass. He will be the first of many that will be taken out. I see any kittens bussy popping on my t- on my TL, you're getting blocked. I'm tired of seeing his ashy face on my timeline. High sodium ass niggas having tantrums up and down social media. And then in my caption, I put down your dumb asses off my timeline. This is why nobody takes black people seriously. And honestly, it's well-deserved. I love how you guys are supporting a pedophile who gaslit a single mother with a pedo-friendly hypothetical situation about catching her minor age daughter coming out of the shower and using paternity and marriage as leverage. Saying how children can be an asset 
to them and how women shouldn't believe the kid if they've been touched. Who does that? What kind of scenario is that? He literally groomed the single mother about her daughter. He also supported domestic discipline, aka domestic violence against black women. But then again, in Blackistan, as long as you have a dick, you're always right. You could be the most shittiest, degenerate ass nicker on the planet. But when you die, you're automatically a martyr. Too bad black women don't get that same luxury when they die or get killed by them. The bottom always bubbles up to the top. I hope the smart black women peep game and start focusing solely on themselves and their children. Curb your empathy and compassion for niggas. They don't care about you, the lives and innocence of your black girls. Stop falling for the narc tactics of single shaming women who refuse to be a doormat to demonic negrums. Stop sacrificing yourself for a community that puts you last. When you die, they could care less. When they die, they want your undying compassion. Are you not tired of this? Look, strap up, move out, move on, distance yourself from black men and black women who support this fuckery. Be around people that think like you. What more proof do you need? I'm off this. I just had to say it. Kittens, nakers, and mammies are getting blocked. And that's just that on that. Anybody that argue with me, they getting cussed the fuck out. I got time today. Time today. If you're a decent man and you're not a predatory ass nigga, you will feel where I'm coming from and you wouldn't push back. But if you push back, you just like that nigga. Straight the fuck up. You a predator just like that nigga. You support predators, you are a fucking predator just like him. If you a real if you a real man, you would understand exactly where I'm coming from. If you a real man, you actually love your motherfucking daughters, you will feel you would feel what exactly what I'm saying. You would not push back an inch. All right? So anyway, I'm out this bitch. Um I just want to say Y'all need to be careful who the fuck y'all be supporting. Y'all be supporting uh, people that don't give a fuck about y'all. Y'all supporting niggas that are pedophiles. Niggas that like to look at 16-year-old girls come out the shower. You must have did that shit. Where the fuck, where the fuck you get that fucking scenario from? Obviously you did it. Maybe that's the reason why he didn't associate with his family. Maybe that's the reason why he divorced his wife. Didn't he have two, two divorces or something? Maybe that's what he did. Maybe that's why the wife left him. Because he was probably trying to fuck his own daughter or fuck his uh, stepdaughter or something like that. And tried to use paternity as leverage. Well, they're my kids. You can't take my kids from me. You got to be careful having kids by niggas like this. Be careful aligning yourself with niggas like this. Don't even fuck niggas like this. Because they will use what they got against you. And then look at the Roe versus Wade thing. They're taking away a woman's right to fucking choose. You got to be careful. I've never had an AB, abortion or whatever. But I'm not going to judge anybody else who, 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 who would or who have. Uh, I don't appreciate women that tend to abuse it or whatever, but for the most part, every woman needs to have a, a right to fucking choose. They trying to take that away from you too. So be careful because these niggas are trying to trap you in any way they can, trying to tell you what to do with your fucking body. You ever heard of stealthing, woman printing? Niggas will go out their way to try to get you pregnant and then tell everybody that you trapped them, but they getting you pregnant so they could be up at your motherfucking house so that they could touch on your kids or your other kids. And use your kids as a, some type of uh, uh, leverage or some type of carrot to hold over your fucking head. Okay? All I'm saying is be careful who y'all follow and who y'all support. Peep game. Spiritually strap up. Stay strapped when you're out there in these streets. Take your self-defense classes. You know, keep yourself, you know what I'm saying? Like, do what you got to do. Because ain't no telling how these niggas going to be acting. You feel me? Like, ain't no telling how they going to be. You understand? And uh, a lot of them are not mentally sound at all. And you could tell they're not. They didn't have no motherfucking daddy. They blame their mama for not having a daddy. And they think that this nigga was his daddy. Okay. Look at who they supporting. And then look at who you supported. That's what I'm saying. Okay. So a lot of these niggas, they are not mentally sound. They're not well. They're soulless, demonic ass negrums. And I'm going to tell you right now. Now, if, if, if motherfuckers is cool with you, be cool. Cause I'm a cool ass bitch. You know what I'm saying? If you cool with me, I'm cool with you. You could be the biggest asshole. But when you fuck around with me, when you get in my energy, you, it, it tends to be your nicest day. If you cool with me, I'm cool with you. But for the most part, you need to keep a, a, a level of detachment, a sense of detachment away from these kind of people. And even women that think this way, women that support this bullshit, you got to stay away from them bitches too. Don't tell these bitches your plans. Okay, a lot of fucking Agent Smiths in this motherfucker. A lot of Agent Smiths. Okay? They're scared. 
So they're going to go along with the majority. They're going to go along. You know what I'm saying? They're scared. But I just need black women to be a little bit more smart. Get the information. Take the meat. Leave the bones. Get the information that you need to get. But um, don't be joining nobody's motherfucking communities and all this other bullshit. Don't be doing all of that. Because what you're doing, you're really setting your motherfucking self up. Pete game. Look around. They don't give a fuck about you. Okay? And they're scared that karma's coming for that ass. They're really scared that Pluto retrograde is spinning the block and busting on all of them. It is what the fuck it is. Thank you for watching. Peace.